What is up guys, it's Cal, and in this video we're going to be going over subtlety rogues on the battle for Azeroth beta. Now just like my other guy videos, we will be going over the baseline abilities as well as the passives. Then we'll be talking about the talents along with the PvP talents. Now I have to reiterate this every time, but the purpose of this video is not to tell you which talents to pick for the best DPS, or if subtlety is better than the other two specs at DPS. This is merely to show you what's to come. But anyways, let's get started. Now these are all the baseline abilities for subtlety rogues. Let's start off with the Vanish, which has not been changed at all. Don't gotta worry about that. Crimson Vial is also still your heal. It has not been changed at all. Shadow Step, still got two charges. Has not been changed at all. Still is a 30 second recharge. Step through the shadows to appear behind your target and gain 70% increased movement speed for two seconds. Cloak of Shadows did have a slight nerf to it. Its base cooldown is two minutes now up from one and a half minutes. So there's that. No change to Blind, it's still the Disorient, 1 minute disorient, 2 minute cooldown. Evasion is the same, 2 minute cooldown, increases your dodge by 100% for 10 seconds. Uh, Faint, across all rogue specs, did have a nerf. It will now reduce the damage you take from AoE effects by 40% instead of 50%. Still costs 35 energy, still has a 15 second cooldown, but the damage reduced is lower. Uh, Shuriken Storm did have a bit of a nerf. It still costs 35 energy, it still does physical damage 10 yards away, but the damage is increased by 50% while Stealth or Shadow Dance is active, whereas on live that is a hundred percent but it still awards one combo point per target hit symbols of death is also unchanged i actually thought they were going to change this one i don't know why but it still has a 30 second cooldown you gain 40 energy and it increases your damage done by 15 percent for 10 seconds now shadow blades did have a bit of a rewarding to it and it is changed slightly it still has a three minute cooldown but it draws upon surrounding shadows to empower your weapons causing your combo points generating abilities to generate one additional combo point and deal 70 5% additional damage as shadow for 20 seconds. So on live, it does say that you do extra shadow damage, but in BFA it tells you that you do 75% additional shadow damage. And it lasts for 20 seconds, whereas on live, it's a base of 15, but I believe your artifact weapon does make that go up to 28 seconds. But now, since you won't have your artifact weapon, it is a strict 20 seconds. Pick lock, not change at all. I don't know why they would change it to begin with. Uh, Shadow Dance did have a slight buff to it, I believe. Still is a one minute charge, two charges to it, but it now lasts for five seconds. So you get all combat benefits from stealth and you can do stealth abilities for five seconds, whereas on live, I believe it's four seconds. Backstab is not changed at all, still costs 35 energy, still does damage, and the damage is increased by 20% if you're behind the target, still awards one combo point. Eviscerate is also unchanged, still 35 energy, and that is the point breakdown right there. Nightblade has been changed a bit, it no longer reduces the target's movement speed by 50%. It will now reduce the effectiveness of healing on the target by 15%, and there's the point breakdown right there. And you still deal 15% decreased damage to enemies afflicted by your Nightblade. Now don't worry, you still will have a movement impairing effect which I'll talk about when I get to the passive abilities because subtlety rogues do have a new passive ability. Uh, and then the rest of these abilities I don't think are changed. Kidney shot is still the same, it's still your stun, 25 energy. Shuriken toss is unchanged, awards 1 combo points, 40 energy. Kick your interrupt, unchanged, 15 second cooldown, all that. Sprint is also unchanged, 1 minute cooldown, 70% movement speed, 8 seconds. And it still allows you to run over water and then tricks of the trade, also unchanged. 30 second cooldown redirects your threat to a target. Now let's stealth here and look at the stealth ability. So most of these are unchanged. Cheap shot is still your stun while your stealth still worth two combo points, 40 energy. Uh, shadow strike is also unchanged while stealthy strike through the shadow and appear behind your target up to 25 yards, then 25 additional damage still awards two combo points. As I said, unchanged. Pickpocket is also unchanged. Sap, your CC, not changed at all. 35 energy. Uh, Distract is also unchanged. Shroud of Concealment, same for all rogue specs. It has uh, been buffed a bit. An interesting buff I kind of like. Still 6 minute cooldown, but it goes for 30 yards around you instead of 20 yards. So let's uh, take a look at this circle right here. Look at that thing. Look at how long it reaches. So on live, I believe that's 20 yards, right? But on BFA, it's a, it's a nice 30 yards right there. So now for the passive abilities, some of these have been tweaked a bit, so deepening shadows is unchanged, your finishing moves reduce the remaining cooldown on shadow to bit dance by one and a half seconds per combo point spent, that is the same, same thing with fleet footed with all uh, rogue specs, movement speed is increased by 15% and you take reduced falling damage, uh, your mastery is the same, 
it still increases the damage you do by finishing moves. Relentless Strikes is unchanged. Your finishing moves generate 6 energy points per combo point spent. Shadow Techniques was uh, buffed, I guess kind of buffed. Your auto attacks have a chance to generate 1 combo point and 8 energy. That 8 energy part used to be just an artifact ability. So it didn't do that baseline, but now it's uh, becoming baseline. Shadow's Grasp is new, so Backstab and Shadow Strike reduce the enemy's movement speed by 30% for 8 seconds. So there's your uh, kind of movement impairing effect right there. And then Shuriken Combo was nerfed slightly. Shuriken Storm increases the damage of your next Eviscerate by 5% for each enemy hit beyond the first stack, up to 5 times. On live, that is 10%. So those are all the baseline abilities and passives. Let's talk about the talents now. Now let's take a look at the talents. Now there are some new, some returning, and some that are changed. And I'll also go over PvP talents at the end since those were added to the beta, just in case you care about those. So Weapon Master was changed. Uh, Shadow Strike and Backstab have a 15% chance to hit the target twice each time they deal damage. You can say if that's a nerf or a buff, but the 6% was raised to 15% at least. Uh, Find Weakness is returning because I believe this was removed in Legion. And it's a change from its previous iteration. Your Shadow Strike and Cheap Shots reveal a flaw in your target's defenses, causing all your attacks to bypass 40% of that enemy's armor for 10 seconds. So it still bypasses armor. That's uh, pretty much the only thing that, that's staying from when it was removed. Gloomblade is unchanged. 35 energy still replaces backstab. You puncture your target with your shadow infused blades for shadow damage bypassing armor and it still awards one combo point. This entire next tier is unchanged. Night Stalker, when Stealth or Shadow Dance is active, you move 20% faster and your abilities deal 12% more damage. Uh, Scepterfuge, as I said, unchanged. Your abilities requiring Stealth can still be used for 3 seconds after Stealth breaks, also increasing the duration of Shadow Dance by 1 second. And then Shadow Focus is also unchanged. Abilities cost 25% less energy while Stealth or Shadow Dance is active. This next tier, I guess, for the most part is unchanged. Vigor is unchanged, at least. Increases your maximum energy by 50 and your energy regeneration by 10%. Uh, deeper Stratagem, also unchanged, gives you 6 combo points and your finishing moves uh, deal more damage. Marked for Death was moved all the way up to this tier because I believe it was on the last tier before, and its cooldown was reduced from 40 seconds to 30 seconds. Other than that, it does the same thing. So as you see, for all rogue specs, Anticipation was removed. It's not here anymore. This next tier, I believe, is completely unchanged also. Soothing Darkness, it still heals you for 3% of your maximum health every second while Stealth or Shadow Dance is active. Elusiveness, also unchanged, reduces all damage you take from non-AoE effects by 30% when you use Faint for 5 seconds. And then Cheat Death, we know what Cheat Death does. It's uh, unchanged. Now this next tier is well, pretty much completely new. Shot in the Dark is new. After entering Stealth or Shadow Dance, your next cheap shot is free. Night Terrors is new. It's a passive Shuriken Storm, reduces enemies' movement speed by 30% for 8 seconds. And then Prey on the Weak is unchanged. Still a passive, enemies disabled by your cheap shot or kidney shot take 10% increased damage from all sources for 6 seconds. So they did remove uh, Strike from the Shadows and Tangled Shadow. But I guess Night Terrors is... Kind of another tangled shadow. I don't know. The level 90 tier, Dark Shadows, was nerfed slightly. While Shadow Dance is active, all damage you deal is increased by 25%. I believe that's 30% on live. Alacrity was, it was reworded, but ultimately it is a nerf. Your finishing moves have a 20% chance per combo point to grant 3% haste for 20 seconds, stacking up to 5 times. On live, that's a 2% stacking up to 10 times. So on live, it's ultimately a 20% haste increased, whereas in BFA, that's a 15% haste increased. And then Enveloping Shadows is unchanged. It's a passive and it has to do with the passive Deepening Shadows, reduces the remaining cooldown of Shadow Dance by an additional 1 second per combo point spent. And then Shadow Dance also grants, or gains another charge. So that's unchanged. The final tier. Master of Shadows is unchanged. Passive gains 25 energy over 3 seconds when you enter stealth or activate Shadow Dance. And then you get this amazing ability here that you get to pick from. It's called Coming Soon. Whereas you see it's a passive. Uh, there's a new talent that's hiding in the shadows. So they have nothing there yet. Shuriken Tornado. I was about to say Shuriken Storm. Shuriken Tornado is new. 60 energy, 1 minute cooldown, focus momentarily, then release a Shuriken Storm every second for the next four seconds. So I guess that doesn't uh, replace Shuriken Storm. It's just a new AoE uh, cooldown thing. 
So now let's take a look at the PvP talents here. If you did not watch my video going over how PvP talents will work in BFA, this is how it goes. You have four bubbles here. They kind of look like what glyph bubbles used to look like. The first one is the same for all specs and classes. It has Adaptation, Gladiator's Medallion, and Relentless. Those are the exact same as on live and you get to pick between one of those three. And then the next three bubbles are all the same. It's just a giant pool of all your already existing PvP talents. So it's no longer on a tier system. You can pick any of these three that you want. So three that are currently on the same tier on live, you can pick them now in BFA. Now a bunch of these names should look familiar to you because they all do come from live and they're all pretty much unchanged. I'm just going to read the names off individually and if you want to know what they do you can well look on your rogue if you have a rogue or you can pause the video because I will be mousing over it but there's only I believe three that are changed and I'll be reading out what they do. So we have Veil of Midnight, Cold Blood, Phantom Assassin, Thief's Bargain, the only change to Thief's Bargain is that it will no longer increase your damage done by 10%. Shadowy Duel, Dagger in the Dark, Silhouette, Smoke Bomb, Maneuverability, Shiv, and now the change to Shiv is it will now, it, well its cooldown is being increased from 10 seconds to 12 seconds, but it will now dispel all enrage effects on the target, which is what Shiv used to do like a, a long time ago, until they removed it and made it a PvP talent. Now it's going back to dispelling enrage effects from your target, which is really nice. And then there's Honor Among Thieves, and then Death From Above, which used to be a normal talent. I believe it was right here where Shuk Shuriken Tornado is, but now it's they changed it into a PvP talent. And what it does is it's 25 energy, 30 second cooldown, finishing move that empowers your weapons with shadow energy and performs a devastating attack. You then leap into the air and eviscerate your target on the way back down with such force that it has a 15% stronger effect. So those are all the PvP talents, and those are all the normal talents. And there you have it, all the changes with abilities and passives coming in battle for Azeroth for sub rogues. Now keep in mind, this is the beta, so things are still subject to change before the final release, which is August 14th, especially since sub rogues are missing one talent on their final tier. But anyways guys, I'm curious to know what you think. Do you main a subtlety rogue or a rogue in general and you like the changes, or do you hate them. You can let me know in the comments below, but if you guys like this video, you can leave a like on it, sub to the channel for more videos like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video.